so I feel like that would be pretty, it would work pretty well. Come on through here to the kitchen. Thoughts? I like the light colored cabinets. I think it gives it more of an open feel. Oh, yeah. Nice size. I love how you walk in, Linda, you're like, oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be the coolest grandma around. The bathroom's a little tiny. So which would you choose? This suite? So, or the one that's going out of here, Greg? Or is that all right? Well, it's actually blocked. And as much as we could probably add a kitchen upstairs. Only a major downside of that house. It's not going to work. It's gone through. Hello. You want to angle that fire up there. I've got Fran. What do you Let's go over our budget to make it what we want. We can spend some extra money making that house our own. Okay, well, the, the house is what's going to be. Oh, there you go. Kind of like, you know, you're here for your appointment kind of thing. Okay. All right? Come on up. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Okay. Thanks. How are you? Good. Good for my appointment. All right. We're going to be right with you. That's great. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. All right. Okay. That's, that's awesome. So just talk about, like, you know. Oh, you don't want me to leave. Okay. Yeah. We'll just do some other shots of you. Like, okay. Uh, you know. Yeah, she's so excited. It's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. She saw it. Excited. It's so cute. Yeah. And I kind of saw her face look a little bit because we saw that she liked something. Or you like something on her Facebook? And it's actually so cute. She looks so pretty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're getting ready to do her shower now. Oh, yeah. 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 So awesome. So she has a venue for you. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And the West Side is beautiful. It's delicious. Yeah. And the bar is like gorgeous. Yeah. And the stage. There's such good people. They've been so The smaller room or the larger room? It's the smaller room. Best view. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Absolutely. Uh huh. Agreed. What month is she getting married? November. 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 So the weather is venue, flowers, every, everything is seventy five hundred. Everything. It used to be five thousand, everything is seventy five hundred. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Everything uh -huh. DJ games. Yep. Combo. Mm -hmm. flowers. Is she doing the videographer also? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You're like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 exactly. 
young man. I swear when after I got married, I was like, if I ever had to do it again, I'd get married to the BFW. But it's, it's funny because, um, so I was in my best friend's wedding. She just got married last September. For she had a little Jack Sparn in Oxford. Uh -huh. And it was very rustic, nice. And Sussex Kent. It did make me want, wish I did have me and my husband like, when I was pregnant, I was like, you know, let's get married at the courthouse. Yeah. Big wedding, we had just built a house. So, so kind of type, like, look at the computer a little bit so while, while, while you're... I guess <laughs> the theme is going to bring me up to, like, Prince, like, there's no interest So we have the Prince theme, like, together, yes, we have this cage, walks all around, and everything like that. I always think, oh, yeah, it's so good. 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 Ye
expertise. How do you feel as far as that that perspective? Oh, very knowledgeable and and everything. Any anything that dental work that you need, they uh, definitely helped us out a lot. Mm -hmm. We've had a high cost uh, with my husband, and he was great. I mean, we had other people, you know, look at him, but we went with Dr. Rana because we trusted him the most. Mm -hmm. And as far as um, like. Uh, bedside manner, explaining things. Oh, great. Everybody's great. At the front desk, the, the, the ones who do cleaning, and Dr. Rana always comes in, you know, to talk to you afterwards, look at you and explain everything. You know, what he feels you need, what you feel he needs right away, and maybe what's not as important right now, especially when, you know, you don't have the money. So, that's, that's helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, and how about in terms of, like, the actual office itself, in terms of technology yeah I mean TVs in every room who can complain <laughs> but yeah it looks pretty up-to-date to me I mean I don't know much about dental equipment so it looks good to me all right try to think of anything. so um, as far as anything specific that you that you've had done what would you have done Ah, uh, you know, root canals, fillings. Oh. Uh, I mean, my husband would probably be the best for this. Too bad he couldn't make it because he's had, you know, a lot done. You know, pretty okay. much a whole mouth. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you want that talked about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, can we? Okay, if we just keep the kids over over there. That would be awesome too. Yeah. Thank you. If. Yeah. Okay. So my husband had uh, had major dental work done. Um, quotes that we've gotten were extremely high. It was something my husband really needed. Um, we were very concerned about um, him losing teeth and not being able to afford. I think I'm falling. In. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, so while well, we went to see Dr. Yep, sorry, right. go ahead, tell me. Okay. So Dr. Rana, you know, brought it, we went to see him because he would see in the kids. He wasn't seeing any of us. It was strictly the kids at first. Um, then he started seeing me and then I brought my husband in and he went through everything you know, which ones we could do and how much each one cost. And he explained everything to us. Um, so we were able to kind of, you know, um, cap the whole bottom teeth and the whole um, teeth were bridged. I'm not really sure about the dental terminology, but uh, he's got a whole new, you know, t front top teeth and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And, you know, he, it, it's good to be able to pay this off and not feel so trapped in that and to still be able to get work like that done so we've had an amazing experience and my husband's very happy and we're happy too so right, right, yeah right, gotcha, gotcha. awesome um i mean you pretty, pretty much covered everything yeah the, i mean maybe just the the uh like the payments part like it was it was good that there was an option like that there was an yeah so they found out the best option for us so where we could put some here and then they got us another plan gina is awesome she was able to work everything out for us to get us to amount where we told her how much we could afford a month and they were able to work that out for us and it was amazing so to be able to do something this entailed and have them work with you was a one and that's why i'm here today to have somebody do something for you you do something for them so it was great awesome. my kids sorry all right cool <laughs> so no it was it's, it's a wonderful place i would suggest it for anybody so yes okay cool all yeah, right So if I could just get your um, your first name, Beverly. All right, great. And how long have you been coming to uh, see Dr. Ron? Well, maybe for at least about six, eight months, six months or. Okay, excellent. So, uh, can you describe your experience with Dr. Ron so far? <laughs> it's very good. He's uh, he put the four implants in. He wasn't sure how many he was going to put. He put four implants on the bottom, and then he made new dentures for me on the bottom. Because I have top and bottom dentures, but my top I had done when I, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But the bottom dentures, I, I didn't like my bottom dentures that I had before, so he put four implants and the new denture in the bottom. So now they don't come out like they did before. I couldn't even eat. They would pop out of my mouth before, you know. So now he's fixed them, and uh, 
I'm getting used to it now. But I can eat now without having to worry about them coming out of my mouth, you know, because they stay now in my mouth better. Right, right, right. So what, what do you, before, when you didn't have this, like... I had a denture, uh -huh. but it was nothing like the one I have now. You know, it was, sometimes. oh my God, all the time. I always had to put glue and everything else on, you know, the the powder, the polydent. Well, I still put powder on the top teeth, but he didn't do my top. Those are the top dentures. Mm -hmm. Maybe eventually we'll get something on that, but I'm getting too old <laughs> to worry about it now. But the bottom I really wanted to have done because uh, it doesn't, you know, I don't like when they keep coming out. And I, I got to keep putting the glue on them and everything else. Mm -hmm. These I have just pop in and they're fine, you know. Mm -hmm. So give me a comparison of how you feel, how you felt before when you, you, know, you could be in a social situation. Oh, God, it was terrible. It was terrible. It, it's, it was, you know, because they wouldn't stay in. And they always came out on me. And, I, you know, you eat and then you, or your son, you have the teeth coming out on you, you know. And it's embarrassing, actually, you know, for me anyway. So, but now they're fine. I can eat, you know. Sometimes I, I'll pop them out because, you know, I, there's something that might have, I didn't put them in right or whatever. But I'm getting used to it now, putting them in properly. So it was a little bit hard before trying to figure it out, you know, when you don't have them like that. But I don't sleep with them that much at night. I take them out at night to let them clean and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, top dentures stay in pretty much easier because they're, they're not like the bottom dentures. So the top dentures, I, you know, they still get loose on me and they'll just put powder and then put it back in my mouth. But they don't come out. They didn't come out like they did with the old ones I had with the bottom dentures. These are great. He did a great job on it. That's great. How did yeah. you come across? Well, my son-in-law went to him, and he was in Totowa before. And I said, well, let me go find out about it. But Pete, Stacy's husband, he's the one that had all new teeth put in. And, uh, but, you know, I, then what, I, I couldn't go for that expense anymore because I'm getting older. For me to go have another all implants put in, it would have cost me a lot of money. So... And, uh, but I trusted him with the denture. He did a good job on my denture. Mm -hmm. And that's what I needed done was new dentures, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what would you say to someone who's on the fence about coming to uh, Dr. Dr. Oh, Dr. Rain, I would recommend him all the time. He's fantastic. He's a very good doctor. And I didn't know how I'd feel about it. You know, he told me what it would be if I got top and bottom done and everything. And I says, well, I can't afford both. But then he told me about this one with the bottom denture, because that was my biggest problem, the bottom dentures, not the top dentures. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like to smile sometimes either. I have a hard time smiling that I haven't smiled for a while. But with this, it's a little bit easier, but still, you know, I'm get, like I said, I'm getting older. So I still don't, you know, look as beautiful as my daughters do. But, you know, I got four daughters. So <laughs> no, he's very good. So if I had to recommend him, I would. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> Tell me about like the, um, his level of expertise. How would you describe that? Him and his staff are fantastic. He's very good. He's very knowledgeable. And, uh, you know, he said he could make him permanent for me, but it would cost me more money. And at this point, I don't have it right now. I'm just trying to get pay the other one off. But, you know, down the line, I don't know, you know. If I come across, then I can maybe see about making it permanent. But it's fine the way it is. It's not that it doesn't come out on me unless I pop them out. Yeah, yeah. So they're okay. But he said he could put them where they don't have to come out, and he would only take them out when he has to clean them. But I says maybe down the road, but right now, let me get this paid off. I don't like any, any problems. I like to have things paid off when I get done with them, you know? Mm -hmm. So... Um, and uh, how, how would you uh, describe, like, his uh, bedside manner in terms of explaining things? Oh, he explained, things? no, he explained it to me. And like I said, we were almost, almost just going to put in two implants. And he says, well, let me see how it works out. And he did it for four, with four implants. So he really took care of me. He really did. Very you know? detailed. Yes, yes. He detailed what it was and everything else and told me how it was going to be. And then, like I said, down the, he also had told me that I could make it permanent. I said, well, right now I want to pay one off before I decide to make in the bottom permanent, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't have any problem with the bottom now. You know, before it always came out and it, it was horrible. And they were never like this, it didn't look like that. They were like smaller, I guess you can say, with the other dentist that I went to, which was years ago. I've had these, I've had dentures since I moved back here to, uh, from Florida, you know? So uh, mm -hmm. when I found out about Dr. Rayner with my son-in-law and he was getting it done and he looked so good, my 
Pete. I wish he could have been here, but he did a beautiful job on his on his mouth. He could smile now. He looks looks really good, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so let's see. And as far as the office environment, if somebody weren't, you know, hasn't haven't if they haven't been here yet, how would you describe it? To them? Oh, it's it's very nice here. He was in Totalwood before, like I said. You know, now the chiropractor took over his part of the building because I was at the chiropractor. And, uh, but I went, that's the first time I saw him was at that. And then he went to this office mm -hmm. and he had both at the same time at one time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, uh, no, this is very pleasant. The people are very nice in here. The girls and everything and the girls that work, help you out and work on you. Nope. I have no, no problem. No problem at all. I recommend him to anybody because he really does a good job. Awesome. Thanks so much. Perfect. That the fun part. Yep. Okay, so you just kind of need it up yep. front. I'll, I'll, I'll put it Here. Yep. My necklace will knock around or no? Um, nope. Right. Yeah, yeah. Close, close your legs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. good. Yeah, you sure? Good. Okay. I can take it off if you need me to. All right, so. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And your page name? Your Eva, E V A. Okay. Last right. name is Paranzi, P E R A N S I. Excellent. Doc? Yeah, look, I, I can see it now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So how? Actually, you know, what? you can you can kind of turn like towards me a little bit. Yeah. My body or the That's chair? Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, um, just in general, how would you describe your experience with Doctor? Um, it's a wonderful place to come. I. I neglected my teeth for such a long time that I was too embarrassed to actually go to the dentist. So when I finally came, there was no judgment. Um, they took care of everything they needed to take care of, and I just keep coming back because I love it here. Awesome. Um, how long has it been? Since I've been coming here? Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's been more than 10 years. Oh, more than 10 years. Yeah, wow, yeah. I, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Awesome, awesome. My whole family, everyone comes. Do your whole family come? They do. They do. And how many? My husband and two children. Okay. Both of them. Grown. Grown now. They've been coming since they were little. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Great, great. So, um, why? And, and by the way, if you're, you know, if I ask anything and it's, you feel like you're repeating yourself, don't worry about it. Okay. It's, 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 You'll let it me out. Okay. They're all shades of the same question. Gotcha. Anyway. Um, so, how would you describe, uh, like, his, uh, like, level of expertise? And knowledge about what he's doing. Yeah, this is this office. I consider him one-stop shopping. I don't have to go on to a specialist if there's anything more invasive that needs to be done. I know that he can handle it. He's done all sorts of, from periodontics all the way down to regular dentistry for me. So I think his level of expertise is bar none. Excellent, excellent. Um, bedside manner, comfort level, yeah. explains himself, uh, you know, tell me about that. Yeah, definitely. Um, before we get started, I'm always going to know what's going to happen. Um, puts me at ease. He's got a great bedside manner. He's quiet and humble and just easy to be around. Mm -hmm. awesome, awesome. And he's a Mets fan. Oh, <laughs> he told me about that. Yeah. <laughs> you got to like that. You got to like that. Um, uh, how about like the the office itself? So, yeah. so if somebody asked you to describe it, like you know, in fact, honestly, personally, I've been I, before I uh, chose my dentist or whatever. I happen to not use him yet. Probably, I probably will. But um, you know, I remember going to some places that were like, you know, like rusty and stuff. Really? Yeah, it was great. yeah. But how would you describe the environment from that? Perspective? Yeah, the atmosphere. It's, it's it's pleasant. The office staff is always pleasant. I've never had issue with anything not looking clean. It's um, extremely clean. I like this facility. It's convenient to where I live. 
Um, it's never hard to get an appointment. It's just, it's just a pleasure to come. As, as pleasurable coming to a dentist can be, this is, it's pleasurable to be here. Awesome, awesome. Um, good, this is great, concise, good answers. Um, uh, so, so what did you have done specifically? I've had, God, I've had, I've had a lot of things done. Like I said, I neglected for many, many years. So coming here, it was, it was, it was tough. I've had, um, I've had implants put in uh, from beginning to end with great success. Um, and what's wonderful about the office, whether you need me to tell you or not, is that the staff is so knowledgeable when it comes to dealing with the insurance companies. It can be such a horror to navigate through that. So when there's times I'm not sure what will be paid or what won't be paid, I always know right in advance there's always a treatment plan, what the insurance will pay, and they've navigated all that for me and ahead of time, so I have nothing to worry about. So my treatment plan is always taken care of. So they're extremely knowledgeable as far as it comes to the insurance companies and such. Very important. That, that is to me, important. anyway. Because no, no, I absolutely. work for an insurance company, so I know how hard it is uh -huh. to navigate. Right, right, right. Um, so, I mean, that, that covers a lot of it. Um, um, expertise, office environment, Cleanliness. technology, I mean, um, and you said one-stop shopping? Like, like, I do, I do appreciate that, yeah, for sure. In what way, like that? Um, he can do, we can go from cleanings to implants, and now he's even, um, my son will take advantage of an Invisalign, of a, of a teeth straightening. I don't have to see an orthodontist. Um, so I consider that one-stop shopping, right? Yeah. Everything under one roof. Yeah. Cool. I, that, that's you okay. some great stuff. Appreciate Good. it. So, sound test here. Okay. All right, so your name and how long have you been coming to see Dr. Ron? Uh, Casey Wright, and I've been coming to Dr. Rana for about, I'd say about three and a half, four years. Okay, awesome. right, cool. So it gives a little different look if you're if you're looking off camera. So you can you can. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I can look at you. Yeah. Okay. Um. So. Yeah. So mm -hmm. describe just in general your your experience with Dr. Rana in the office. Um. Honestly, it's been amazing. I'm, you know, coming from a person who's had extensive work done in the past, I am, I've always been nervous, you know, to go to the dentist, which is where the majority of my problems stemmed from with my dental work. But um, as soon as I came to Dr. Rana, um, from the beginning, the staff and him has made it, you know, a somewhat extensive experience that I've had even with Dr. Rana so much better. You know, it's, um, he's been amazing, so. <laughs> so, um uh, what, what kind of work did you have done? Um, it's more what haven't I had done. Um, root canals, I've had um, uh, veneers done, I've had crowns, bridges, so pretty much everything with Dr. Rana. Mm -hmm. um, and like whenever a certain procedure had to be done or you opted to do one, right. how would you describe the way he explained it to you and that kind of thing? Yeah, and that's one of the things that comes to mind when I think of Dr. Rana, just is how thorough he is. Uh, when I came here in the beginning, I had so much work to be done and he was very, very thorough and honest with what had to be done. And, um, you know, he really made a stressful experience so much better for for me and made it attainable and I think it was like a two-step three-step process um, everything that I had gotten done it was basically all of my top teeth are veneers and which is you know crazy to take on but he uh, made it manageable for me so he was he was great through the whole experience awesome. tell me about like the and again, if you repeat yourself, don't worry. Cause, okay. You know, they're all You'll edit. the same question. Anyway. Okay. Um, the, like, uh, the, uh, I can see them right. uh, the office staff, you know, how easy the process is with anything you've done. Right. And same thing. They've been amazing since the beginning. Just, I mean, from everything, from calling you, you know, the day before, just to remind you and just, uh, being understanding, reading you to see if you're nervous in the office, you know, waiting. And they've just been, um, you know, I think they knew that I was having extensive work done with Dr. Rana so, and was nervous. So they calmed me and, um, you know, I think just as important as the dentist is, so is the office staff and they're been incredible. So how would you describe like uh, his 
depth of knowledge, his expertise at? Oh, his expertise is beyond anything I've um, experienced. Like I said, in the past, I've had extensive work done. And as soon as I went to, came to Dr. Rana, he you know, laid out the whole plan for me and followed through with the plan. And since then, I've really had no complications from anything that he's, um, any work that he's done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, how about the office environment itself? Oh, it's great. It's great. I know when I had my work done, he shut the office down, <laughs> played music, made it as comfortable as, as possible for me. So I was here for, you know, about a five hour procedure and um, really just shut the office down. It was it was great. So it was something that I hadn't experienced before. And he went above and beyond to do, you know, what he had to do to make me comfortable and uh, make the experience better for me. So imagine um, I, I, it might be hard to imagine this, but imagine someone who's like going through nightmares with their dentist, right? I've been there. You've been there. I've so been there. I am that person. So, so, so tell me what that's like compared to what it's like now. Um, like I said kind of before, the reason why I think I've had... Do it this way. Do it this way. If, you're, if you have that kind of situation, yes. it's this, it's this, it's right. this. But, you know, come right. Back Right. So in the past, going from, I mean, that's where my problem stemmed from, I think, only going to the dentist when I absolutely had to. So it was always getting the worst news, the worst case scenario, and I would just put it off until I absolutely had to, to get something done. So the follow through with me in the past was not there because I'd never experienced a good dentist. So when I came to Dr. Rana, um, even though it was a lot to take on, everything that I needed to do. Um, he, like I said, it was just from the beginning, he made it so, he made an unpleasant experience pretty pleasant, I have to say. So it was just a matter of if you're worried or if you're scared, um, he's very thorough. He lays the whole plan out for you. He does what he has to do to make sure you are comfortable. And I stuck with him and I got all the work done without any complications and I couldn't say enough positive things from the experience that I've had with him. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll wrap up with um, if there was anything you, you wanted to end, um, end this sentence with, thank you Dr. Rana for... Mm -hmm. I would say for making me confident about my smile again and for making me realize that the dentist can be a pleasurable experience. Awesome. Thank you. you. Do that again by saying start, I'm sorry, starting the sentence, thank you Dr. Rana for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So thank you Dr. Rana for making me confident with my smile again and for making a somewhat unpleasant experience that can be for the dentist um, pretty pleasant for me. So thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Perfect. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. All righty. All then. All right, so I just need to, if you can give me your name and where you're from. Okay. My name is Angela Sigismundi, and I am from Wayne, New Jersey. Awesome. How long have you been coming to Dr. Rana? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to say eight years. Eight years. Great, great. Um, so, you know, in general terms, well, how's your experience uh, like? Oh, I came... I came to Dr. Rana on, not on a fluke, but I needed a, an extraction. And I needed to find someone that took my insurance. So I was going through the phone book, whatnot, and I came across Dr. Rana and called. And he, yes, we take your insurance. I came very frightened because I had never had an extraction before. And one, two, three, I was done. I had no pain. Everyone here was wonderful. I was like, oh, you have a new patient. <laughs> it, I, I just can't say enough. I can't say enough about Dr. Rana and his entire staff. Very pleased, very, very pleased. I've had quite a few things happening over the years. I'm at that age now where, you know, this happens, that happens. You have a little pain here, a little pain there. And he just makes everything go so easily that, um, uh, I'm very, I'm very, very pleased, and the staff is wonderful. I, I don't have any qualms about calling, asking questions. So, specifically, you know, some of the things that, that you've actually had done. Okay, I have had. Well, uh, to begin with. Um, 
just the hygiene, having my twice a year cleaning. Um, I've had different hygienists and every single one of them has been great. I've had root canals. Oh, I don't know, maybe three or four root canals. Absolutely no pain, absolutely none. Um, they went smoothly. I was shocked the first time, never feared getting it again. I, and they have to be done. That's one thing I'm, I, I do take care of my teeth because I know it can lead to other things. I've had root canals, I've had uh, crowns, I've had uh, a partial put in, um, a bridge. And I think I'll smile for you. I think my smile's pretty nice. Um, like I said, the first, the first and main thing for me is discomfort and pain. None with Dr. Rana. And he makes you feel so comfortable that you do not fear asking him a question or telling him a problem you're having. He will, he will fix it for you. Awesome. How would you, I mean, and by the way, if you feel like you're repeating yourself, it's okay. okay. Uh, these are all I know, you'll edit, I'm these sure. All shades of the same yep. answer anyway. So um, his uh, like depth of knowledge and his, his you know, just expertise wise. I find, I feel that he is very knowledgeable. Um, I think that his equipment is up to par and all of his techniques. I, I don't know too much about dentistry, but from going to other dentists and from having the work done that I have had done, I can see that he's using the uh, utmost of techniques and he's up to date on everything. Um, we're not in any Stone Age dentistry here. He, he's, he, he really has uh, everything, I think, top notch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, great. Um, and how about the, uh, the office environment itself? The, the, uh, the office environment is very good. I feel, again, very, very comfortable. Um, the girls, I, again, I have no questions. Uh, I have been to other dentists where I stopped going to the dentist because of a hygienist or an assistant where they sometimes can be a little rude or fresh or, you know, just not as nice. These girls are very nice, all of them. I haven't come across one person in this office that, that doesn't make you feel comfortable and, and isn't helpful. They're all helpful, yeah. Awesome, awesome. And um, so, so, okay, uh, we're, the last one would be, say thank you Dr. Rana for and then thank him for whatever you would want to thank him for. Oh I would say I'm gonna just tell you by no not to film but maybe to say thank you thank you for letting me lose my fear of coming to the dentist. Thank you Dr. Rana I have absolutely no fear to come to you for all of my dental needs no fear whatsoever and I feel so comfortable here. I really need to thank you for that. And I need to thank you for absolutely no pain or discomfort in my mouth. <laughs> Which is the truth. Do you ever have a toothache? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Getting married five months apart and I just figured that out, so. Oh my God, where did they get married? Uh, well, one's getting married in New Brunswick, one's getting married in Little Falls. Park Chateau and... Uh, I guess. Yes. I, don't know. I don't know. She just, she was showing me all the booklets and then she, they said they settled on Little Falls, so... I'm still reeling. Little Falls, I don't know. They picked a caterer and the caterer works for five different venues and then... I guess like a very different venue is nice all of them yeah. very different from like rustic to like you know mm -hmm. um, but one of the benefits to that they like that one anyway but one of the benefits to picking that one was that that is their home base mm -hmm. so they can get more food oh, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like they're both tiny as anything but mm -hmm. <laughs> we love food so from Jillo? Is I, it, is that right? I don't know I don't know. I'm like, I'm still reeling because like the other November third, two thousand eighteen is like it's in this year. So I'm like, <laughs> you know, right, right. and that. Get right back. <laughs> oh yeah, you got that. <laughs> so how long? Uh, what your name and how long you've been coming to Dr. Ron? Lynn Simpson.
and I've been coming to him for, I guess, like five or six months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, what what kind of work have you had done? Oh, first of all, like, what's your experience been overall? Oh, it's been good. They're all so nice here. Um, they're more like friends, family. Um, that's what I like about them. And uh, I needed a lot of work done. I came here because I found out I had um, abscesses. So I started with that and then because of what I needed done, I decided to go all in and just have my smile corrected. Um, and it was a long process, which he explained in detail. And I'm nearing the end and I'm very happy. Great. So, yeah. So, I hear footsteps, <laughs> loud footsteps. <laughs> Okay. That's Gina. You could say Dina. Gina, you're in trouble again. I'm sorry. No, sure. I have to wash That's right. Glass. That's okay. Good. That's right. Can I just rinse that real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. He goes, I hear footsteps. I hear loud footsteps. Mm -hmm. No, she is. She's the reason I came. Mm hmm. Took the phone. Mm -hmm. Because I told her I hadn't been in a long time and because of the way I was treated in the past and she was so nice and reassuring of how they are here and everything so I felt very comfortable that that they knew you know they took care of patients that were like me that were you know on the fence and uh, you know about coming in the first place and then that were treated poorly by other dentists, you know, who admonished them instead of, you know, understood why they hadn't come or things like that. So, you know, so yeah. they're all like that. They're all very nice and know what they're doing. So, awesome. Um, so, what you were saying, what you had done, right? Did you, yes. Did you finish that? Okay. Um, yeah, I had um, upper and lower. Um, I had to get. Uh, temporaries first uh, and then I'm just at the point where I had I had the permanence on the bottom permanence on top so it, it's done in stages that's why it takes months to to get to this point so and I had to learn to smile because I never would do that before so I actually have to think about it because if you look at like on Facebook or any of the things, I would smile with my mouth closed all the time. Really? Tell, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait I'm a serious. Second. Yeah. Tell me. Tell. Yeah. It's six. It, you have so, to think about it. You yeah. really do because you're conscious of not wanting to smile because you're not happy with it. So you literally have to remind yourself, smile. You can do that because it looks nice now. So go ahead, you know, and it's really, it's bizarre. It's bizarre because, you know, you're used to the way you were. And even like looking in the mirror, I'll smile at myself, remind myself, okay, this is what it looks like. So when you smile, it's going to be okay. I know it's weird. It's, other people don't understand because this has gone on for years, you know. How long? Oh, since I was, you know, a kid. Yeah. Well, and then <clears throat> when I was an adult, I try I I went, you know, to fix it, but also having three kids, you know, your priorities are always your kids and stuff like that, and you don't have the time. My husband worked out of state, so I didn't have the time to put on myself. And then I would go, you know, if things went wrong or whatever, but they shame you like why haven't you been here in a long time and then so that makes you not want to go cuz they're just like, "Oh, well if they're going to treat me like that, you know what I mean? And they'd say, oh, don't you know you should be doing this or whatever. And it, you know, ironically puts a bad taste in your mouth and you just don't want to go back. You know, because they, they don't put themselves in your shoes and try and figure out why you haven't been there. You know, that you're not like some bad person who doesn't want to take care of themselves. It's just circumstances have made it so you, you know, can't afford it, didn't have dental insurance or whatever, you know. Because these same people who are saying that to you, you know, they're not going to give you a break, <laughs> you know. But I've had some ones who are just literally nasty to me about it. So that kind of 
put me in a shell and that's why when I, I made the call to them it was very nice when I spoke to Gina and she says oh yeah you know come on in and she was very understanding and said that they're very understanding here and you know would treat me right which they have Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. That's, that's interesting. Especially, See? especially, the, uh, you know, about, you know, um. so, you to get too, you know, dramatic or whatever. Actually, I'm getting, I'm the one that's getting dramatic. I'm not that's okay. Anymore. No, but that's like, okay. Like, what, like, what does that mean? Like, what does that mean in terms of, you know, changing your life or whatever? I guess, I mean, I know that, um, my own family like I remember when I went to Thanksgiving at my sister's house I just smiled and pointed and she's like oh my gosh you know because nobody's used to me smiling like that and she just seeing her reaction I realized what a difference it was I mean you know my kids when I when I see them because you know they're all grown up and um, when they visit, they would, you know, they said, oh, wow, that's, you know, that's nice and everything. But it's when it's somebody who hasn't seen you during, like, the little transitions and stuff, it makes, it makes you realize how big it is, you know. Because people who are with you and may see you day to day or see you through the process, it might not be as stark a reaction as that. But she was, you know, my one sister was like, wow, you know. So then I realized, wow, what a big difference it had been since the last time she'd seen me. And I didn't tell her I was doing this, you know. I didn't necessarily tell everybody what was going on. I didn't necessarily post what was going on. Um, so that was kind of neat, you know what I mean? And going back to what I said before, just reminding myself to smile it sounds weird but it's you literally have to remind yourself oh you can do a regular open smile like other people do because I never wanted to do that and I used to get teased in school you know about my smile you know so because I had what I think they call it canine like it went up here so I was very conscious of that because people would notice that and point it out so you know how kids can be mean so yeah uh, how would you describe um, his level of um, expertise? Oh, I think, um, you know, he, he's really good at what he does, you know, and um, just he explains what he's going to do. Everybody that comes in, you know, um, assistants, whatever, they explain what they're going to do. Um, he's very... Uh, meticulous about what he does and there's never a point where you don't know what's going to happen or you don't know how long you're going to be that's another thing because you know sometimes I could be in here for two hours straight you know but I'll know ahead of time coming in you know it's not like oh you come in and then oh wow two hours so you know that's good and what's also very good is he'll stop or you know whoever else is helping will stop and always ask you know are you okay does that hurt or anything like that so that's nice too because some you know some places when you go have procedures done or whatever they'll just go you know like a, there's a beginning and an end and they may not stop and check on you know hey are you all right but your eyes are kind of bugging out you know you might not be able to, especially when it's your mouth you can't say anything sometimes but he'll always ask you so you know and he's he's nice you know a nice personality and that that helps too it helps when everybody around you is nice when you know it's not necessarily always a nice experience because you know there might be pain involved you know you, you know um you might be numb for a couple hours or it just might be an uncomfortable day you know uh -huh. it's not always the you know the most pleasant thing but I knew that coming in, he said right off, you know, there's going to be a couple that are going to be rough. This is going to be a rough one. You know, I knew that going in. Mm -hmm. um, how about the, uh, <coughs> the technical standpoint, like the the environment, the office environment? Oh yeah, they're they're excellent. You know, uh, I I feel like um, they're always on point. You know, they always have everything they they need they're uh 
he always has the right people in here to help out with the, the, the tools that they use. You know, if something's not going right, you know, they'll try something else. You know, they've always got the right tools for the job. You know, I had, um, as a matter of fact, yesterday, they were taking out uh, one of the temporaries and it wasn't coming out. So they had to go to another one that I wasn't familiar with. It was called the tapper and literally tapped it out. So, you know kind of interesting I'm learning I'm learning about how these things go and everything so yeah they're they got it going on here they know what they're doing mm -hmm. cool cool so we'll finish up with um, if you can say and I, I think I already know what the answer is going to be <laughs> but thank you Dr. Rana for and then say whatever you want thank you Dr. Rana for um, being so kind and for having such great employees around you and for being so upfront with everything and doing such a great job and um, doing what others couldn't do before and giving me such a nice smile. I hope it's a nice smile. <laughs> that other people think so, I think so. Thanks. Thanks. I'm just gonna let you but should I put it more like, you know, that do you want me to put in my, like, how I experience Invisalign? Because I can say, you know, me as a patient, because I had Invisalign myself. Well, that's, okay, well, it, it, the only... Mm, okay, awesome. Um, we good? Here's good. And then you're, and you're talking right to the camera, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, I want to explain a little bit about the Invisalign process. Okay. I'll start over. So Not I. Instead of, okay. No, that's not, no, I was okay. fine. Um, hi, my name is Bo, mm -hmm. and I'm going to explain a little bit about him. Okay. Right. Hello, my name is Roberta Weber, and uh, I would like to explain a little more about the Invisalign process. Uh, it's an amazing process that we'll be working in a practice uh, where it allows children, teenagers, and adults to actually have straighter teeth on being able to close spaces. And the most important part, and I think it's very exciting, there are clear bases that you're wearing literally 11 to 12 hours during the day and during the night. You're literally just taking them out to go to sleep, to brush your teeth, uh, but the results are amazing. Uh, they are very quickly. Uh, you're not having those traditional uh, metal braces like the traditional old times. So as an adult in particular, I think it's one of the best things out there. Uh, I love the results we get. We get amazing patients being very satisfied with the results. Uh, and at the end of the procedure, obviously not only are you having your teeth straighter, the gums are healthier because of the proper alignment of teeth. So now it's easier to get the brushing done. Uh, the first visit is just really doing a consultation, understanding on where the position of your jaw and teeth to find out if you are a true candidate. Uh, that gets put into a technology where uh, designs your mouth and see what the movements will be like. Once that's all designed, it's, you know, you, the, the, the trace gets delivered. You're coming to the dentist about every two to three weeks where you get a new trace and you place it in your mouth. It feels a little tight at first. I've used it myself, so I have to say it takes a day or two to adjustment, and then you don't even remember they're there. So I do speaking, I'm doing lectures, I'm working throughout the day, and I still have the trays in my mouth. Uh, and once that's replaced, it, some of the procedures takes about six months, that's it. You're in great place, you're, you know, you're gonna be a lot more confident about your smile, uh, and it's very self-explanatory, and the fact that technology is there to allow patients to have that smile, it's something terrific. Any details, anything else you want me to Exactly, right. exactly. So if you'd like more information about, mm -hmm. do you want to take a call to Dr. Mm -hmm. Rana or something? Mm -hmm. So obviously, if you like more information about Invisalign, if you're not sure, if you're a candidate, how would that work? Don't say obviously. Do okay. It, do it okay. What well, should I say? Say, you know, you say, um, so uh, of course, if you, you know, but because mm -hmm. obvious, obvious, it may not be obvious to them. So okay. You don't want it, it, it could be insulting. Okay. 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 So if you'd like more information about Invisalign and come to our office for a consult, uh, I would strongly recommend, Dr. Rana, it's terrific. Please call the office. I'm sure they will accommodate you for a consult and you'll love it.
Perfect, perfect. It's okay. Good. So what do you want me to talk about in Blitz? <laughs> so, okay, again, you know. So, if you're having a problem where there's missing teeth in your mouth, uh, and you have on uh, dentures that are not fitting well, and you're not sure how to fix it, implants is the solution for you. Dr. Runner does amazing implants in the practice. We are, are able to replace either existing teeth that throughout time has been decayed away and are no longer restorable, to other cases where you have absolutely no teeth left. Uh, that you're actually looking for more retention, the ability of really being able to eat the proper foods. Uh, and one of the most important things is to be able to have a great nutrition and to be able to have solid foods. And as people get older or they're missing teeth, uh, one of the most common complaints is they are not able to have a steak or eating something when they go out for a nice restaurant or for a wedding celebration. Well, that's where the implants are a perfect solution. And we started by doing measurements, finding out what is the, you know, how is the jaw alignment, and how would they are uh, fitted into your jawbone, what is the specifications. And uh, sometimes are multiple implants, other times we can do it with only a couple, and it still give you a great, you know, getting a lot more support. And uh, maybe you had a tooth that was uh, extracted years ago. Now teeth are shifting the different direction. You don't have enough um, ability to chew properly on that side. Again, the implant will be the solution for you. If it's a failed root canal that has been bothering you, the tooth is discolored and you were afraid, now you can go ahead and have a single implant and have that done relatively very quickly. And you should call Dr. Rana and he will give you a suggestion for you. Good. It's okay. Did you like it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a natural, but. Uh, so your name and how long have you been going? You've been coming to, how long have you been coming to Dr. Rana? So my name is Cash Bolsera. Uh, I've been coming to Dr. Rana for over 10 plus years. I've known him since uh, he was in high school, literally. So I followed his career through dental school. Uh, in the instant that he was a uh, dentist, I've been going through him since then. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, how has, just in general, how has your experience been? My experience with Dr. Rana is, has been absolutely phenomenal. I'm a very picky client. I'm very specific about what I want from a customer service experience, from a professional experience, and he does a phenomenal job. I will recommend him to anybody in this world. Awesome. Um, what are some of the things you've had, you've had done? So with Dr. Rana, I've had a tooth extraction uh, Invisalign, uh, that was a big piece for me. That was a, uh, a very important piece for me. Uh, along with regular routine cleanup, dental checkup, but definitely the Invisalign was a huge piece for me. Awesome. Tell me about the, so tell me about the process of the Invisalign, how that went. So um, I think it's very important to have a beautiful smile. And so it was a great investment, one of the best investments I've ever made in my life. Um, so with that came the initial uh, screening um, then I had m about eight to ten different months of different trays I had to wear. Originally it was going to be a little bit longer. I thought it was going to be about a year's process, but we were able to finish it up sooner. Um, I absolutely was blown away with the results. I love my teeth. They're straight. They perfectly came out the way I wanted it. I find myself I'm smiling more. Um, so overall it's been a great, phenomenal experience. It exceeded my expectations in terms of what I was expecting. Wow, excellent. Um, there was the, the, one of the previous women, um, she actually had to remind herself to smile. Yeah, you know? not at all. It's, I, it's one of those things that comes natural. I find myself, even my friends tell me that I smile more. and I, I'm just extremely proud of my smile. Uh, every time I get a chance to smile, I do it. I'm in front of a lot of people in, in terms of doing presentations, doing different meetings. And first thing I do is smile. And that kind of sets the tone of the meeting. So. It's, like again, once, like I said before, it's the best investment I ever made in my smile was the Invisalign. I recommend it to anybody. Oh, awesome, awesome. Um, what, other, what other, oh, you had implants then? So I had a tooth distraction and got an implant, and again, it was a great experience. I, from a customer service perspective, I always know what I can expect. I know Gina, I know all his staff, 
personally, so anytime I pick up the phone, if I have a question, they are always answering my, uh, the, my needs, whatever the issue I'm having. Uh, and then on the day of the appointment, everything goes smoothly. Uh, very little wait time. I get into my chair, Dr. Rhonda does his thing. I come out smiling, and that's how exactly I was supposed to be. Awesome, awesome. Um, so what can you say as far as you know, your feeling of um, his level of expertise? Does he know what he's doing? Without a doubt, absolutely one of the best dentists in this world. It's a one-stop shop experience with this guy. Um, I've had other dentists in the past, and what I'll tell you is if I needed something special, uh, some, a specialty was required, I would have to go to another specialist, not with Dr. Rana. Uh, like I said, with the truth extraction, as soon as you, I knew I had to get an extraction, he, he scheduled an appointment with me, he's the one who extracted, extracted my tooth, and he's also the one who put the implant in. So, one-stop shop, and that's what I like about it. I'm not running around with all these different specialists and, and making appointments with them, because to me that's inconvenient and time-consuming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, how about the actual environment itself, in terms of the, the technology? Does it feel like you're in a, in a top uh, top end place? This definitely is one of the clean environment, professional environment, uh, top of the line, latest technology available, including when I had my Invisalign, when they did the, I'm not even sure what the, the equipment is called, but it was a 360 uh, x-ray of, of my, um, of my mouth and to just give them a better indication of where my teeth are and what they needed to do for, for my Invisalign as well as my treatments. Awesome. Um, and then uh, how about like the staff and stuff? I mean, you know, is that, that, is that important? Absolutely. Everything's important to me. I'm a very uh, sad, um, I'm a very demanding customer. I'm a, I know exactly what I want and I expect what I want. And by far this group, the staff, Dr. Rana far exceed my expectations. Awesome, cool. I think we're nailing all of these. Um, uh, what else can I? Uh, what else should I be asking? Anything you want. I'll hit it out of the ballpark. All right. So, so we'll end it with um, start. Start off by saying thank you, Dr. Rana, for whatever you want to. Uh, whatever you feel is the is the most important uh, thing that he's he's given you. Thank you, Dr. Rana, for my beautiful smile. I get compliments every single day, and I thank you for that. That was it. <laughs> See? Uh, the following day, I'm like, this hurts. I call this cell phone. I'm like, this, oh, really? this hurts. I don't know. Uh, He's like, no, you, it's okay. It's normal. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> He's like, no, totally normal. Mm -hmm. So, but that was last month. So, yesterday was a breeze. This was real. Okay. Yeah. Doc. <laughs> oh my god the doctors are the worst patients <laughs> all right all right cool so your name and how long you've been coming to see that's right okay just say my name mm -hmm. yeah Geraldine castellano and since 2009 awesome so just you know i like to start start off kind of high level just in general terms mm -hmm. how would you say your experience has has been with uh, dr ryan Oh, he's made me extremely comfortable and not afraid to come to the dentist anymore, like I usually am. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And um, uh, you've had a number of procedures done over the years, I would imagine? Gosh. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've had pretty bad teeth. So, um, yeah, a couple, two root canals, a couple of fillings, and a tooth pulled. So. Mm -hmm. um, so, and by the way, if you... Don't, don't, if, you, if you feel like you're repeating yourself, don't yeah. worry about it. Just okay. repeat yourself a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Just because they're basically different shades of the same question mm -hmm. that I'm asking anyway. Um, so why would you say it's important to have someone that you like and trust as, as, uh, as your dentist? Because if you don't trust them, you're going to get nervous, anxiety. You're not going to come to the dentist when you need to come to the dentist. Uh, so if you're comfortable, you won't be as hesitant to come even though it's a scary time anyways. <laughs> so I think that's important. Um, I have a friend who re has refused to come to the dentist. Like she won't come at all. And she recently needed uh, a wisdom tooth that was impacted and needed to come out. So I called Dr. Rana and uh, he doesn't do the oral surgery but he referred somebody else. I trusted him so I called him first. 
to see who he would recommend since I've been coming to him for so long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And everything works out? Oh yeah, completely. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so again, uh, you know, like does he have a good bedside manner in terms of like, does he explain procedures well? Oh yeah, he explains everything. Um, every couple of minutes he says, are you okay? How are you doing? You know, he doesn't leave you there wondering like what the heck's gonna happen next? You know, what is he doing? You know, how long is this gonna take? He explains everything as he goes along. Um, I was here yesterday for, I came in originally for two fillings. Um, it ended up being three. Um, so, you know, he figured while I was there, already relaxed to do all three at the same time and it, it flew by quickly. Mm -hmm. um, how about, how would you say in terms of his level of um, expertise? I mean, I realize you're mm -hmm. not a dentist, I'm not a dentist, but like, how would you characterize, and still, how would you characterize uh, how you feel he knows what he's doing or not? I trust him enough that I've brought my daughters here for the, since their first visit. So I think that says a lot, right? <laughs> yep. Awesome. awesome. So. Um, and uh, the, the environment itself, like technology-wise, does it does it seem like he's? Uh... Yeah, and I have to say the staff is another thing that I've always loved here. You know, they call me by my first name when I come in. They make me feel very comfortable at home. Um, they're always smiling. You know, I've never walked in with somebody being frumpy as in previous years, way in the past with other offices. I come in, they're happy, they're smiling, you know. Everybody seems like a family here, which makes it way more comfortable for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So is your, yourself and your daughters come? Mm -hmm. uh, your husband comes? Or? No. Okay, why is that? I'm just curious. No. He's, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does he do dentist at all? No. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay. It's not thinking about that. Right. No. Uh, I'm like, oh god, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> now that's like a whole other situation. So. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Off limits. Off okay. Um, no problem. So. Now um, I'm getting I'm blushing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, so how? Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that. Uh, uh, well, I might have another question after this, but I've, mm -hmm. I've been ending with start off by saying thank you, Dr. Rana, for and then say whatever you want. You know, whatever the best thing about the experience with him has been. That's so broad. I don't know what to say. Can I just say thank you for everything? Yeah, it's a great job. Mm. I'm in a comfortable situation. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll say now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dr. Rana, for making everything so comfortable and making me enjoy going to the dentist. Awesome. Is that good? That was good. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that... I, so, the actual procedures that you had done... Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, I didn't realize. One day I was in here, uh -huh. and I was sitting in the chair, and um, I was like, is this a massage chair? All of a sudden I realized that they had turned the massage thing on for the chair. So that was really cool. I never had that before. So I'm getting dental work and getting a massage at the same time with the, the chair. <laughs> really? The, 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 the one up front. I, I was sitting in it, and um, when the technicians came in, I'm like, what the... Is this a massage? She's like, yeah. Wow. So that's really I've cool. Never, I've never heard of that. That's cool. Someone up in the front. That's <laughs> awesome. All right, cool. Anything you want, anything you want to add? Or, or, uh... Just thank you, Dr. Rana and the staff. And it's a pleasure to come. Awesome, awesome. That's it. Thanks. Thank you. That was good. Yep. All right, we're rolling. <laughs> Action. I'm ready. All right, cool. <clears throat> so... Your name and, and how long you've been coming. We'll start off with that. Hold on, I don't know if you wanted me to say how long or recently, because since I had all that dental work, did he tell you? Yeah, but so what's uh, how? Is it, but how long? It doesn't matter. It doesn't, I, this is just a. This is just a. Break the Can air. I say a few years? Huh? A few years. Yeah, okay. okay. And uh, how do you spell your name? R O S H N I. So, in general terms, how, how's your experience been with Dr. Ron? It has been absolutely amazing. I've been coming here for a few years, and I just will not go somewhere else. He's very gentle. He listens to you exactly where you're hurting. He actually, you know, finds a spot and works on it. 
and after that there's not any type of discomfort because he actually listens and follows through with exactly what he's doing. As he's doing the procedure, he actually tells you exactly what's going into your mouth, you know, what tools he's using, and he explains them so you're not um, confused out of nowhere or worried because you're scared. It, he helps you out with that. Awesome, awesome. Um, in general terms, why is it important to have a, a dentist you like and trust? Mm -hmm. um, I think dentists are very expensive. So it's really important that you trust them and they're not just saying, hey, you have a cavity or hey, you need a root canal done. You have to really trust this person to be able to tell you what's going on because they're the only people that know what's wrong or how to read those x-rays. So it's really important to know that they're saying what's really going on to trust them to be able to leave your teeth in their hands. So I think that it's really important to trust them. Awesome, awesome. Um, you were saying that it took you a long time to find dentists. Tell me, yes. about, tell me about that. Usually you go in for a checkup and somebody will say, you need this done, that done, and they give you a long bill, but they don't explain anything. So I went to a few dentists before I found Dr. Rana. And when I came to Dr. Rana, he actually not only told me what was wrong, he went through each tooth and explained how that happened and what I could do to prevent them and what the procedures are going to be and how long they're going to take. So it was thorough. It wasn't just, hi, you're just another person for me. You're actually a patient that I'm going to take care of. And it, you become family. You know, you come here often once you have a lot of dental work like I did. And so it's important to have somebody that you can go to that's going to explain things and treat you more than just a patient. He's going to treat you like a person and actually an individual patient and take care of you. Awesome, awesome. Um, actually, I keep checking the framing and stuff. So, um, cool. So, um, what, what procedures have you had done? I've had fillings, crowns, and root canals. Yes, and I can remember. <laughs> so, I don't know, there's some crazy story about you coming in and needing something in a rush. That's yes. So I came in, I, when I first came in, I needed a lot of procedures done. And I also put on to Dr. Rana that I'm going to be moving in a week. And I needed at least seven crowns, like 10 fillings. And so it was a lot of work. And we actually got everything done before I moved. And he stayed late, um, came on the weekends. He made sure that he came with his staff for extra timings, kept the office open just so that everything was done prior and I did move and I did come back. I come back for my checkups, I come back for my cleanings because he's the only one I trust. I don't want to go somewhere else and have to do this all over again. I know that he's taking care of my teeth. I know that he's went through all my procedures together and explained everything to me. So I, I would fly back. I would fly back twice a year, three times a year if I have to, but Dr. Ron is the only person that I would go to. Awesome. Um, tell me about the you, you, you're feeling, uh, and, and if, you, if you repeat yourself, it's fine, don't, okay. don't worry about that. But like, um, in terms of his level of, uh, wait, did I ask you this right? Level of expert expertise? I don't think so. Yeah, so, so how would you, I mean, I realize you're not a dentist and I'm not mm -hmm. either, but like how would you, talking to a friend or whatever, mm -hmm. how would you describe his level of expertise? Definitely, I don't even know if there's a word above expert, but whatever that word is, that would it, that's what it would be because he has the best technology and he actually explains everything. So usually you go to a dentist and they say, oh, you have a cavity. He actually explains more than just a cavity, how that was formed, how big the cavity is, if that needs a root canal. So his technology is able to help you out with that. He has the proper tools and he you know, invests in all these um, equipment that you don't see everywhere else, and so I would say it's above expert. Awesome, wow, that was the best thing said yet. <laughs> um, and um, how about the environment? How would you how would you characterize the environment? The staff is just exceptional. They're amazing. They always have a smile on your face. On their face, they put a smile on your face. You know, when you're coming into a dentist office, you're thinking, I hate you know, my life at the current moment, because you're scared. You're, you're gonna have a drill in your mouth in a current, you know, few minutes. And so they always make you smile. They make you feel like you're a part of what they are, which is their, you know, family here. 
And so it's very nice. They're warm, welcoming. You come in, you get a smile on your face. They tell you, you know, where you're going to be, what's going to happen. And so it's comfortable. They make it very easy to be able to come in here. And I actually want to come back. Hence why I flew all the way back from Texas. You know, I want to come back here because they're welcoming and they're just happy people with smiles on their face all the time. Awesome, awesome. Uh, all right, cool. So we'll end off with, um, like, repeat the repeat the beginning of the sentence, uh, and say whatever you want at the end of the sentence. Um, thank you, Dr. Rada, for you know, fill in the blank. Whatever, it, whatever it is, whatever the whatever the, the you can think of the best thing about coming here is. Hey, you have to give me a minute. You got. It. Um. You got it. So you said start off with the best thing coming no, here. No, th thank you, Dr. Thank you, Doc. for and then yeah, and making you comfortable. Whatever, okay. like whatever um, you know. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you, Dr. Rana, for taking away one of my biggest fears, which is the drill, which is coming into the dentist office as many times and making it comfortable. You have been the best and the only dentist I will be going to for the rest of my life. So I'm excited that you've gained a new best friend. Awesome. Good. We're All right, so can you make the thing go? Oh, you want to make it move? do it? Yeah. Oh, you've got to turn it on. Uh, no, you can't. It's going to radiate. It's going to radiate. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Oh no, if I make this go, it'll go. Yeah, yeah. Hold up. Oh, I wish I had it. Let me just get this one. Oh, I had it before, it would have went down. It'll get back to the How much radiation? Oh, you know what? Get out. Can you turn it and then hit, then hit it? Get out. Yeah. Let's take a scan of something and we'll hit it again. And then it will do it. Yeah, we did corner here. I need that lead apron. The lead apron. Because in the picture, it's not going to look right if he's not wearing an apron. That's a good point. At least someone's sober. And then, and then he gets the lead boots. <laughs> Take an x-ray now and let the machine. Come forward just a little bit. Yeah, just like that. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, it's on 202. Nice. Cool. Yeah, good. Okay. You want to see it? Right. Lift this chair oh, up so oops. it looks like it's right on. Yep, lean back like that. So you're going to take this and just go like that. Make sure you're standing like this. Yeah. With two hands or one? Yeah, that's fine. So is it, is it like you hold it there or is it? That's it. That's it. Oh, okay. I've never seen one of these. Okay. The only thing is, can you button up your jacket? Yep. And does it button up? So when you, okay. So when you do it, like, okay, take the thing away. And then like explain what you're doing kind of thing. So that there's well, something. Some, no, 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 no. It's just, it just the. Like, it's, it's as if you're talking to the patient. You're like, oh, okay. you know. you take an x ray, just hold still. All right, Bite down, stay here, here. as still as Gab you can. Don't, don't talk, Gabby's gonna talk. Right. Bite oh. down, stay as still as you can. I'm gonna take an x ray. Okay, it's done. Back with All right. Don't move, don't laugh. Take it away. Take it away and then, and then back. Okay.
Now take another one again, <laughs> doing the same thing, but you go like you're actually taking it. Okay. So you're just going to tell them to stay still. Okay. Nice and easy. All right, stay still. Nice and easy. Bite down. Stay Bite down. Still. I'm going to take an x ray. Okay, cool. All right. All right. No, just keep your mouth shut, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, one more time. Yeah. Take it down. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So take it away and then back again. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Just put it back. I feel like I'm shooting at you. Patients love the time. Okay. Cool. Good. This is like yeah. It was awesome. Good job. You did a good job. <laughs> Is that a Sarah? Yeah, don't forget your straight. Is that a yeah? yeah. I have my, I have my you know we're we're doing the Omni cams now with implants. Yeah. We got a package, yeah. Just show some of that. I got you using the computer, that was it, but I didn't get what's on the screen. Can you move it around? You want the chair, Dr. Martin? Can you spin it, like, left and right? Ooh. <laughs> Alright, cool. So No, actually, actually, like say something, like explain, like oh, don't just okay. point us. Oh, we're not taking pictures. We're taking, yeah. All right. So what we just did is we just took a scan of your teeth, and what we're going to be doing is making your crown right from here. Um, as you can see, this is your lower teeth, and from now here, this is the crown that it's proposed. Okay. And what's cool is that. I can make it as thick as I want, as thin as I want. Um, nice contact here so you can floss easily so food won't get stuck. Okay? It's very accurate. I know exactly how your bite is going to be. So it's going to, once the crown is done, it's going to go right in. Keep going. Cement it in and um, you'll be on your way. Sounds good. Take care of it. One, one more, yeah, just a little, just a little more talking, so I can get from this angle. All right, so to be fair, you can tuck the the, the things in the back that the yes, gloves. The, the, what? the gloves. Oh, in. The gloves. All right, so what we did here was we just took a digital impression of your teeth. Okay, so none of the yuck stuff. You know, I know you don't like it. You know, the gunks, the impression stuff. Instead, we took it digitally with the camera, like we right. did. Okay. And this is it. Here's your lower teeth, here's your bottom, um, and your bite. From here, we're going to design your crown. So, as you see, this is what your tooth looks like. Okay? Right. Um, this is where your margins are going to be. And now I'm going to tell the computer, propose me a crown based on my parameters that I've set. I like it to be a certain amount of contact in between the adjacent tooth. So this way food doesn't get caught, makes it easier for you to floss. And you'll see that coming up now.
That's a pretty decent model. Yeah, comes off to the settings or something. Are you going to talk about it? Right, so Just the Schneider memory. Just the memory, yeah, I think that. Um, is it video or is it? Oh, okay. so can he hear us? Are yes. people going to listen to us as well? Yeah. So okay. So we can't just say like volume. Yeah. All right. I mean, the case looks good. Yeah. They'll probably need three implants in the upper left. You know, you do the sinus lift for them. Right there. Right there. Is, is, that's okay there, but behind it, I think we need that sinus lift because it, it, you know they they go right there. Right there. If you go push yeah. that up a little bit, that might work. Absolutely. All right, so just repeat that. Okay. All right, so, I mean, if you can see over there. I mean, if we're looking up there, we've got three implants up there. So, I mean, if you say I need something here, all right, we're probably... All right, good. Same thing? I mean, what is it, you need one? Probably two or three implants, right? So I think we can get three implants up there. And then you would put four, 14. Yeah, and then, go ahead. I think we can put three implants there if you push the sinus up. Yeah, I think we'll get a nice sinus lift when we do the implant. I think he's got enough bone that we can put it in and then do the sinus lift at the same time. Uh, yeah, two stages. I think we should be good. All right, one more time. I'm just saying different, different angles are the same thing, so we can cut okay. it together. So just, uh, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, if you look at what, he's going to need the three implants up here. And then, you know, the sinus, kind of like that, we can tap it. Yeah, so up there, fair, he's got enough bone that you could do the implant and then tap. Science. I agree. Yeah. So we got to get three and then four teeth on it. Four, four teeth on it. Absolutely. Okay. Good. And then one more for this angle. So I think if we do sinus lift first, mm -hmm. right in this area, I think he's got enough bone. And we'll be able to get the three implants in for him. Mm -hmm. And we'll put four teeth on it. Yeah, there's a patient okay. out there who wants to record the scan. She's taking the Oh, uh, sure. No, that's just, 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 just real quick. Yeah. All right, but I yeah, one, one last time on this. Okay. So, on the upper left, what we'll do is, should we need a sinus lift? Yeah. Once we get the bone in the sinus, we'll be able to get, get the three implants that we talked about in there. Right here. Yep. Yep. And then you'll be able to do the four crowns on if you, if you look right there, she's got enough. She has enough bone that we could do the implant and the sinus lift at the same time. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Nice. Good.
All right, cool. So, can you tell me a little about your experience uh, with uh, Dr. Ron? <coughs> yeah. Just yeah. So, so, how long have you been coming to Dr. Ron? I've been coming to uh, Dr. Ron for about five years. Um, I started coming. I had really bad front teeth. They were chipped and looking disgusting, so I would never smile with an open mouth. And he, um, about two years ago, put caps on my front teeth, and now I can smile and enjoy having my picture taken again. And it just, he's, he's a great doctor. He did a great job on my teeth. I would highly recommend him to anybody if they want to come here. And I have recommended him to, to friends. Awesome. So how, how do you feel your life has changed, you know, now that you're able to smile and do you, do you have a different attitude? Or oh yeah, yeah, totally a different attitude. Um, I take better care of my teeth now than what I did before. Um, and it just, you know, makes life better when you have good teeth and a nice smile and, you know, it just, it feels good. Tell me about his, do you, his like, level of expertise, what you're saying. Oh, he's really good. What was good with this was everything was done right here in the office. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, right. Yeah. And um, so you like one-stop shop kind of thing? One-stop shop. Mm-hmm. Yep. Awesome. Cool. We're all good. I've been coming to Dr. Rana, I'd have to say, close to a decade. Close to a decade, wow, okay, great. Uh, what'd you have done today? I had uh, two implants. Okay, and the experience was? Excellent, mm -hmm. as it usually is. How, um, what made it excellent, would you say? Well, the staff is great, Dr. Rana is great, and um, they make the experience as enjoyable as being in the dentist can possibly be. Um, was what, what's involved with the procedure that you had? That's well, they had um, previously. I had to get bone graft, and then after that healed, it took you know, three or four months for that to heal. Then they X-rayed me to make sure that the the bone was dense enough to put two implants in because mm -hmm. they're two implants side by side. Mm -hmm. And then they uh, punched my gums to open up a space to. To drill the implants into, and uh, they drilled one, then drilled the other, and then they put a uh, a healing cap in it. And now I got to wait for another three to four months before I can get the implants put in. Okay, so the procedure today was quick. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. Um, so, what would you? How would you describe uh, the like level of expertise here? Excellent. On a scale of one to ten, I give it a ten. I have my whole family coming here. Awesome, awesome. Um, trying to think of anything else. That uh, how about the how about from a tech, uh, technology standpoint? Modern. Yeah, it's modern. He's got that cool three D dimensional thing that scans your whole head. Keep asking him if I have tumors, but I guess they don't want to tell me if I have tumors. But um, it's uh, they got some good stuff in here, and their their people are excellent. They're a lot of fun. You know, people that you can have a few laughs with while you're getting drilled or injected or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. Then just one more, like, how, how would you recommend, like, uh, how would you recommend them or? You know? Oh, I'd recommend that anybody. I'm actually opening up a cigar lounge and I want to put out and hand out his cards, you know, for teeth whitening. Nice, nice, awesome. All right, cool. You're all good. Thanks so much. All right, no problem. Appreciate it. Actually, you, you're just your, your name. Antonio Goncalves. Way it's spelled the way it sounds. Uh, G O N C A L B E S Antonio A N T O N I O. Beautiful. Awesome. Thanks a lot. No problem. And like you said, we do a bunch of time with this. You look so pretty. What? Cords? <laughs> what happened? What's that? What happened? I should tell you to oh. turn the uh, sensitivity down a little bit. There you go. Okay.
Alrighty. Alrighty. Big smile. Wait. <laughs> Should it be up higher so I can look like well, I'm not reading? Uh, let's see. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> bring it underneath. Oh, that? That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Hi. I'm Elaine, your registered dental hygienist here at Comprehensive Dental in Lincoln Park. We are located at 60 Beaverbrook Road. Here in the shop, right? Damn it! No, no, no. no. Let's um, cross it out. Uh, in the, how about this? In the shopping center at Beaver Sixty Third. Yes. Uh, look at it. We're okay. Located in the, in the in shopping the center. Shopping center at Sixty Beaver. Okay. Right, you can't see the rest of it though. Oops. Can you? Um, oh, oh, you want yes, because you're gonna have to like. I'm, I'm gonna scroll. scroll. Okay. okay. Okay, hey, ready? Start over? Yep. Go. Yep. Hi, I'm Elaine, your registered dental hygienist here at Comprehensive Dental in Lincoln Park. We are located at 60 Beaverbrook Road in the Shopping Plaza here in Lincoln Park. Here at Comprehensive Dental, we strive to remove barriers to care. Okay. By, <laughs> You're tapping your foot. You I know! <laughs> Damn it! So Take two. Right. Take two. And be, and be, and be like, be like, hi. I, I know, but I can't do it when I'm like reading this. That's yeah. why it's it's not good. Okay. Start over. Yep. Hi, I'm Elaine, your registered dental hygienist here at Comprehensive Dental in Lincoln Park. Oh, yes. You messed up the comprehensive <laughs> I can't. I can't. I know, I'm sweating. Okay. Hi, I'm Elaine, your registered dental hygienist here at Comprehensive Dental in Lincoln Park. We are located at 60 Beaverbrook Road at the shopping. Oh, I can't do this because it's not written okay, down. Right. Right. Not written down. Can I have that? that. Okay. This is terrible. 60 Beaverbrook Road no, no. in the. We're located in the shopping center. At in the shopping center. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm hey. Elaine, your registered dental hygienist here at Comprehensive Dental. We are located uh, at the shopping center here at 60 Beaverbrook, Beaverbrook Road. Here at Comprehensive Dental, we strive to remove barriers to care by offering direct access to dental hygiene treatments such as cleanings, whitening, Sealants, periodontal treatments, and strengthening varnish treatments. We offer convenient hours, daytime, afternoon, evening, and even Saturdays. You can schedule or visit us online at ranadental.com. We look forward to seeing you. Okay, awesome. You're in the zone. One more time. Oh, perfect. Huh. We're okay. Up. We're located in the shopping center at. Yeah, I know. In the, in the, in the. In the shopping center. We are located Christmas. in the shopping center at six at sixty Beaverbrook Road. Yeah. Okay. Do you like that? We strive to remove barriers to care. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Not really sure. <laughs> um. Hmm. No, I like that. We'll keep it. Hi, I'm Elaine, your registered dental hygienist here at Comprehensive Dental. We are located in the shopping center at 60 Beaverbrook Road in Lincoln Park. Here at Comprehensive Dental, we strive to remove barriers to care. We offer a direct access to dental hygiene treatments such as cleanings, whitening, sealants, periodontal treatments, and strengthening varnish treatments. We offer convenient hours daytime, afternoon, evening, and even Saturdays. You can schedule or visit us online at ranadental.com. 
We look forward to seeing you. Awesome. What's that? Damn those people. I know, it's All right, they're giving me practice. Big though. smile. There we go. Okay. Hi, I'm Elaine, your registered dental hygienist here at Comprehensive Dental in Lincoln Park. We are located in the shopping center at 60 Beaverbrook Road. Here at Comprehensive Dental, we strive to remove barriers to care. We offer a direct access to dental hygiene treatments such as cleanings, whitening, sealants, periodontal treatments, and strengthening varnish treatments. We offer convenient hours, daytime, afternoon, evening, and even Saturdays. You can schedule or visit us online at ranadental.com. We look forward to seeing you. That was actually the best one, I think. That was the best one. Okay. All right. Good. Good. We're done. Where are you? Okay. Buy some Um. All right. So, um, tell me what you do. Tell me who you. Tell me a bit about who you are, what you do, and then we'll get into like approach and stuff like that. So, so the basics of, of what you do. <clears throat> so, um, I am Dr. Samir Rana, general dentist, that um, focuses in on <clears throat> full mouth reconstruction, implant dentistry, as well as smile makeovers. Um, we treat patients with. Um, all right. Here, so. you, you should really look. I mean, if you want to just look at something, <coughs> but either either look at the camera or you know what I mean. I think you should just just look just just off camera. Look at me. <coughs> yeah. All right, good. Yeah. Let me start there. Um, welcome to Comprehensive Dental. My name is Dr. Samir Rana, and where there's a will, there's a way. I believe that you've taken the approach of coming to the office. Now let me help you attain and achieve or achieve an optimal dental health. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, so, w all right. Let's 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 go. With this. Why is it important to to find the right dentist? <clears throat> you have to find someone that you can trust, someone that um, you can talk to. You know, without having that doctor patient relationship, um, someone you can talk to as a friend. You know, um, if you want to sit down and talk out of the office, call me, text me. Um, it's important that you're able to communicate what your what your goals are and what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. If I was a dentist in another state or whatever, or we were friends from dental school and I said, you know, doc, I, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I don't feel like I'm connecting with my patients as, as well as you do. What would be your top three things, four things that, that <coughs> you know, you strive to, to do to establish and keep that connection? When patients come to my office, uh, they understand what they're having done. I show them, they repeat back um, exactly what's being done, and I feel that's important as they understand what's going on in their mouth, um, as well as me explaining, um, I mean, showing them through x-rays, pictures. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, the ease of making their appointment. We try to make it convenient for them um, so they can attain the care they want without altering their busy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And um, so someone told me once that there's, it, dentistry is like artistry in, ter in the sense that you can, you can achieve the same goal in multiple ways. Is there, like, what's your approach? Like, is there a, you know. Right. Um, dentistry is definitely a... Um, is definitely a piece of art as far as you know there's you know, look at the whole patient's facial uh, features symmetry and then putting that into their teeth some patients have um, more boxier faces versus some that are more ovoid so we try to translate that into their teeth as well and the size and the shape of their teeth into it and mimic that you know so there's a, <clears throat> a constant flow from the head all the way through your chin. Interesting, I never knew that. <laughs> Let's make this shit up. 
<laughs> oh my god! I'm like, wow. You I mean, we're gonna have to redo this now that you're saying. <laughs> I <Yeah. gotta> <laughs> well, this we would edit this, yeah. No, but I've got nothing here that's been congruent yet. But go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so, <clears throat> um, uh, what about like the whole topic of, you know, fear and pain and crap like that? <clears throat> I think um, the best way to alleviate patients fears no one a lot of people don't like coming to the dentist however I think with communication um, understanding what the fear is sometimes it may just be a matter of communicating and talking to the patient before doing any type of treatment um, <clears throat> sometimes we give them a little nitrous gas so this way patients are a little bit more comfortable in the chair uh, <clears throat> other things were you know with between myself and our assistants and our staff, just to make sure that they are comfortable when they are um, in the chair. Most of our patients do have a lot of anxiety or have come to our practice because of anxiety. And just, um, oh, is it? Is this one? Yeah. I'm gonna have Um, you were saying a lot of patients do come with anxiety and what you... Yeah, and, I, and again, just really um, communicating with the patient will usually, I've realized, um, will calm them down and allow us to do a treatment. If we have to go slower with some patients, maybe we'll start, you know, something and then <clears throat> kind of work our way up to where they are um, more comfortable and have no problems coming into the practice. Is there a way to tell... Like first, when someone goes and evaluates a dentist, is there a way to tell if someone is like actually, be I'm, you know, better than another one? Like, how do you determine if a dentist is? <clears throat> well, uh, you you know, you want to see some before and after pictures for some um, for procedures done that you're trying to have done. And the other thing is, I think um, after having your procedures done, ask you know to see what it looks like on an X-ray. Um, see what type of schooling, continuing education that the doctor is doing is very important. We take continuing education as a, as a staff, as well as myself. You know, um, I usually take three or four times more, the, more than the um, required amount of courses that we need to take. And, you know, you always learn, you know, you always learn, you know, tids and bits of, you know, every, every time we go, you know, to a course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, um, all right. I'm trying to hit on, you know, what sh what should what should the environment look like when you walk into you know? G give me two things. Give me what it should look like, and 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 what you've done to make it look that way. <clears throat> I think I, um, I the way your the practice looks is a reflection on the type of work that is being performed in the, in the practice. A clean environment, um, modern with technology, um, a happy and a personable staff. Um, as far as that, um, having communication, having the ability to have communication with the doctor, um, I think is what separates us from other practices. Mm -hmm. So tell me how great your staff is and why. Uh, we're a fun bunch. Um, we, each girl, um, <clears throat> is very highly trained in their respective position. They also find time to have fun and make a place, a, a working environment where they all want to come to. You'll see it when you come to our practice, everyone's smiling, you won't see any type of Bickering that uh, sometimes, you know, when you put seven or eight people together, that can happen. We try to alleviate that um, by just having constant communication in the practice. Cool, cool, cool. Good. Uh, what else? Yeah, hey, I redo the whole thing. Yeah, all right. I don't know. I mean, I got to... That's fine. This is a good first start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. we do it now? You have to, you have to or... no, Let's do it now. So, yeah, what time do you have to leave? No, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. All right, yeah, just ask those questions again. Let me see when they call. I'll just answer it. Come back. Okay. 
So, in general, <coughs> who are you uh, and what do you do? My name is uh, Dr. Samir Rana, and welcome to Comprehensive Dental. My motto in life is where there's a will, there's a way. You have made the commitment to come into the practice. Now let me show you, let me help you attain and achieve optimal dental care that you deserve. Awesome. Um, and yeah, so keep looking, keep looking after you finish. I'm going gonna, right, gonna to do that again. Gonna, okay, I want okay, that line cool. to be pretty good. good. And I'm gonna pull, like I'm not gonna react right away, so don't look off to me for a reaction. Okay. Just, just that, you know, because I need the, the silence after you finish. So uh, okay, okay well, you know, let's, let's let's just start. All right. Big smile. All right. Welcome to Comprehensive Dental. My name is Dr. Samir Rana, and my motto in life is where there's a will, there's a way. You have made the first <coughs> approach. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. All right. Well, let me see. Uh, what was it? What was I going to say? You have made the first. You made the first step in. in what are they coming in when they see this video? Or, right. Or reaching out. You just say reaching out, whether they came in or not. You know, you've made the first step in reaching out. Um, to remember, our practice. Yeah, to our practice. And it is my goal to help you achieve and maintain optimal dental care. Perfect. Big smile. All right, welcome to the Comprehensive Dental. My name is Dr. Samir Rana. My motto in life is where there's a will, there's a way. You have taken the first step in coming to the office. Now let me show you and help you attain and, and achieve optimal dental care. Okay, so how about this? You have, you have made the first step in reaching out to our, our practice or our office. Um, um, it, it's my goal now to show you how dedicated we are to having you achieve ultimate, you know, ultimate achieve and maintain, achieve okay. and maintain, ultimate uh, or optimal dental uh, care and hygiene and care, or just care. I got it. All right. Yeah. All right. Big smile. All right. Welcome to Comprehensive Dental. Oh, My name. Okay. okay. So, so you know, welcome to welcome, you know, to Comprehensive. My name is Andrew. Will there's a way? Uh, you've made the first step in reaching out to us. And now, now it's, it's my goal. It's my goal to show you how dedicated we are to your <clears throat> big smile. All right. Welcome to Comprehensive Dental. My name is Samir Rana, and my motto in life is where there's a will, there's a way. You have taken the first step in coming to our office. Now it is mine and my practice, my office. Ah, fuck. <laughs> All right, good. All right, welcome to come. Uh, <laughs> All right, big smile. All right, welcome to Comprehensive Dental. My name is Samir Rana, and my motto in life is where there's a will, there's a way. You have taken the first step in coming to our practice. Now it is my goal and my practice's goal to help you show, attain, and maintain optimal dental care. Awesome, very close. All right, just. When I say big smile, I get a big smile, but don't say, all right. Yeah. All right, so big smile. Welcome to Comprehensive Dental. My name is Samir Rana. Uh. All right, big smile. Welcome to Comprehensive Dental. My name is Dr. Samir Rana, and my motto in life is where there's a will, there's a way. You have taken the first step in coming to our practice. Now let, now let me, ah, fuck, I'm gonna have to write this down. That's all right, you're, you're close. All right, big smile. Welcome to Comprehensive Dental. My name is Dr. Samir Rana, and my motto in life is where there's a will, there's a way. You have taken the first step in coming to our practice. Now it is mine and my practice's goal to help you achieve and maintain optimal dental care. Perfect, 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 good, good. All right, cool. Um, uh, so, so what were some of the things that, uh, so, so what are the, what are the, let's just go a little factual, right? Just what do you do? Like what don't, you don't have to go into what don't you do, but what do you do relative to the biggest spectrum of dental? You know what I mean? All right. So, so here at, so here at Comprehensive Dental, we treat all facet, all f different facets of dentistry. All right. So here at Comprehensive Dental, we treat all facets of dentistry. We, will, we treat children, 
teens, adults, and seniors. We treat people with baby teeth, mixed teeth with adult and baby teeth, um, wisdom teeth, and then people with no teeth. Um, we treat <coughs> patients, we, we do implant dentistry, we do cosmetic dentistry with veneers, crowns, and bridges. We do same day dentistry where we do, we have a machine that can make our crowns within the office. We also have a CAT scan um, to help us do more precise root canals as well as uh, do more precise implants. We have a laser um, in the office that it keeps things a little bit more minimally invasive. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Next. You can pick up. You can pick up too. You do also do the, the straightening too, right? Um, we also, <coughs> at Comprehensive Dental, we also do Invisalign, where it's a clear aligners that straighten your teeth over a period of time. Um, an aesthetic way of straightening your teeth without putting brackets on um, on, your on your teeth. Um, Okay, cool. So we could actually do, we can just use your voiceover and, and so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then, um, uh, what else? Uh, um, okay, so, so that's what you do. Now, um, uh, how should the environment, like what should, what should <coughs> when someone's looking for an office, you know, a nice or... Why good, us? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Our patients choose comprehensive dental because of our <clears throat> uh, let's see. Okay. Our patients choose comprehensive dental <clears throat> due to the uh, what are we saying here? Alright. So you're 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 thinking in terms of like a script, you know? Just let's just talk like in as conversationally. Like, okay. look, it's important that you're comfortable when you go to the dentist. Yeah. You know, things should be clean. Things should be high tech. They should be, you know, here at at, at our office, we strive for, you know, all you have to do is look around, and you yeah. can see. That's what I mean. So, um, you know, uh, shoot for something like that. All right. At, at comprehensive dental, uh, we. Uh, you gotta ask now, a question. When you, you know, start okay. off with like, listen, when you go to the dentist, you should be, you know, comfortable and, and, and taken care of. Uh, that, that goes for not only to the people that are there, of course, but the technology that's there. Here we have this, this, we have this. All right, I'm gonna need to have a shot and do this. It's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I got a beer. No, no, I gotta go to work. We'll do it another time. All right. Yeah, it's all right. It is